What is going on everybody? Back with another DIY video. So I was sitting there thinking I might want to do another project with leather. Uh, so I decided to make a, a key wallet. Now the reason being is that my keys are always kind of just it's stuck in the little coin pocket of my jeans. And whenever you pull it out, it's fine. It's just, it's just you know, rests in there perfectly fine. But whenever I pull it out, all the keys sometimes get, get um, you know, noisy and they get tangled together. So I decided to make this little wallet to kind of alleviate that problem. So... So this is the first time I've ever done this, by the way. And what you're watching me is me commenting on my own video. I actually said, you know, said nothing throughout the entire video. I just did this just to show show it off. So what you're watching now is me sizing up the keys. I'm gonna make it uh, where the keys come out on both sides, so it doesn't make the entire wallet too thick. Uh, and I'm just marking off the holes where I need to punch through later on to put the key ring through. So my idea was to either put like split rings through there or put like uh, maybe like a night eyes uh, S beaner on it or another a carabiner that's small enough to go through. I'm not too sure yet because at this stage, I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just doing whatever I think is necessary. And uh, please ignore that little piece I'm using to, to draw the um, the oval right now because I actually I, I lost my circle uh, template. So I'm using whatever I can find around the house to make these uh, uh you know, curved edges. But anyways, like I said, the, the reason why I'm making this is because I, I just want to stop my keys from flopping around and, 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 you know, causing noise and getting tangled together whenever I pulled out of my pocket. So I thought maybe this would be perfect and I could just throw it on my lanyard, stuff it in my pocket and, won't, you know, everything would be nice and organized. So at this stage of the project, you see I've, I've already got the uh, leather cut down to a good size. Now you see that the uh, the keys fit into there pretty much almost perfectly. Now all that's left to do is just to uh, get the rest of the leather shaped. And, and again, look, you can see, I, again, I don't have my circle templates. So I'm just using a spool of thread to create uh, rounded corners. Um, <clears throat> So here I am, I'm just using a pair of scissors. I know a lot of people don't use scissors to trim leather, but in this case, I'm just using it because it's, it's quick and easy. And again, this is more like a prototype. I really don't know if this is, um, well, well, number one, I don't know if I'm gonna make another one, but this is how um, I envision the product, so, or the end product. And again, I'm just test folding it to make sure I got enough room and thickness. And I'm gonna be cutting it down into, uh, you know, just the usual shape, or not the usual shape, but cutting it down to the correct shape and uh, getting everything prepped for the final um, dyeing and also sewing as well because I'll, I'll, be, I'll be making a, a Velcro uh, closure for this. I wanted to use a button closure, but number one, I couldn't find where I, I left all my, or had all my extra buttons. And number two, um, I thought maybe I should do something simple for my first go around at this project. So again, what you're watching is really my first attempt at, at making one of these. I have no clue what I'm doing at this moment. I just had an idea and I just started doing it. So, <clears throat> I'm trying to comment as, as much as possible throughout this uh, seven minute video or just around seven minute video. But lately I've been getting into more and more of this uh, do it yourself stuff because I, mean, I just love creating things with my hand. And one of these days I, I, I'm hoping I can actually get into making my own knives and everything too. But for now, I just like working with leather. I like working with like nylon. I like work, working with, uh, uh, you know, just um, elastic, you know, just any kind of things I, I find. And you guys have known if you watch some of my other uh, uh, videos on my channel, I, I make journals as well out of um, leather. Here I'm setting the um, uh, the sticky back Velcro here and I'm puncturing uh, five holes in each uh, side or each uh, Velcro piece. That way I can, I can uh, hold it in there permanently with some uh, thread. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's much easier to use sticky back Velcro in this case, just because the Velcro won't fall off when you're trying to, you know, uh, sew on the uh, <clears throat> sew on the piece. And unfortunately, my sewing machine is not strong enough to go through, uh, you know, this type of thickness of leather. So I'm just gonna be. I think it, I think the needle will probably just break right off. So, and what I'm doing is I'm doing like a box and an X stitch in the middle, as you can see there. And uh, it, uh, again, I'm using red thread. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of like the contrast, but you know, as I'm sewing this, I finally realized that you know what doesn't really matter because I, I, I haven't even dyed the entire product yet. But I decided to do the um, the Velcro now to do to get a test fitting on it, and there you can see the actual X and box stitch um, to get a test fitting of how the Velcro will end up when it's uh, you know closed together. Uh, usually, what I would do, oh, and here I'm I'm telling you basically I'm going to be uh, punching this out with an actual punch, you know, so that way the holes will be nice and round and even. 
And right here, I'm wet forming the leather. I just basically wet the pieces or parts I need to fold. I'm using my fingers and I'm kind of making it into the shape that I need it to be. You know, so I put a nice little, almost like a nice edge on there. That way it'll retain most of its form whenever it's being used so it won't just flop open because I want it to stay in that shape. And this next bit is where I'm using EcoFlow, uh, a water-based dye for my leather. It's just, this is Midnight Black. Um, and I'm just going to apply it on with the, I don't even know what those things are called, but I think it's like a little bit of wool on a, on a, metal, um, a metal stick here. So I'm going to do both sides. I originally wasn't going to do the inside, but I decided to do both sides. You can see after it's dried, it looks pretty decent. I mean, it's not the best. I was kind of rushing through this project just because I wanted to get the, the, the prototype out and get it, get it uh, done before my weekend was over. Um, so I decided to use split rings. So I could not find any, because you see there's an S-beaner off the left-hand side. I just could not get that S-beaner to go all the way through. I'll, so I decided to uh, nix that idea and just use split rings. Uh, the next size S-beaner up is too large uh, for, for the actual keys to be looped through. So that didn't work. So it takes a little bit of getting uh, the keys on there. But once you get it on, it's nice and stable. And luckily, I don't have to remove my keys all the time I just these are the keys I have for like years and years so there really wasn't any point in me trying to get it make it easier for me to remove my keys off the uh, the uh, the wallet so here it is the finished product I got so it's got two split rings I can hang it off of my retractor stick it in my pocket and it's just nice and uh, easy so uh, anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY video uh, you know I, I really enjoyed making it uh, I'm on more to come obviously so if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave it below. If nothing else, please send me a personal message. Otherwise, have a great day, take care, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.